Bonjourno! Johnny Wisbeck here, playing Assassin's Creed 2 today, because it's just come out free on Xbox Live, so I thought I'd do a little run through, see if people are interested in downloading it or not, because some people might like it, some people probably won't. So first of all, let's go into the menu and we'll go on inventory. So this is your armor, you get different sets of armors, I think you start off with leather and then you upgrade it by different ones and then uh, when you have armor then it can get damaged and you need to go to a blacksmith to repair it. And you got weapons, so in your dagger in this game you've got a little pistol that you can shoot people with, uh, there's your dagger, sword. Um, I think the Cestus, like, it makes you punch harder in combat, and I think it also makes you grab easier or something like that. And then you double blade as well, because this is the first game you get two hidden blades. Supplies, so you've got your throw knives as well. From your hidden blade, you can also shoot poison, which works the same as when you stab people with poison. They, like, spin around and then fall on the floor in the dead. Bullets, smoke bombs, and medicine. All pretty self explanatory. Uh, and then these are items that you need to find through the game. So, codex pages. You need to get all the codex pages to finish the game. Seals. Get all the seals, and you get the uh, Altair's armor. It's not an armor that Altair has in the first game. Statues. In your home villa place, there's all statues for you to collect, and feathers, feathers all over the uh, country, I guess. And then outfits, not very much outfit choices on this game. I think to get the Medici cape and the Venetian cape, you need to play the Facebook game and get to a certain progression point in the Facebook game where you either buy them or something like that. I think that's the only way of getting those two, so if the Facebook game's taken down now, you won't be able to get those anymore. Auditory cape you get from completing the game, I'm pretty sure. And... Yeah, Altair's costume, I think you unlock with uh, Uplay points. So if you don't know what Uplay points are, they're basically like Ubisoft's own achievement system, where say about three achievements in the game you get like about 30 points for one 40 points for another and then with the Uplay points you go onto the Uplay store which you access through the disc and you can buy like um, backgrounds for the Xbox background or uh, like have more daggers have more bullets and stuff like that so most of it's useless but it is nice to get an extra costume. I think that's pretty much all you get in this one. Well, actually, there are like um, hidden places, like uh, hidden little caves and like buildings and stuff like that that you go in, and they've got loads of gold. And I think you get a hidden uh, place through the U play points for uh, your hometown. So that's something, but I mean, you don't. Well, I guess starting off you might need money, but later on you just don't need it at all. Like you can see there, I've got eight hundred seventeen thousand, eight hundred seventeen, eight hundred seventeen thousand. Yeah, nine hundred fifty. Forgot our numbers worked for a second there. But yeah, so that's about it. So just do a quick run around. So the story is basically. You play as Ezio Auditori, you start off as a little scroat running around the streets, beating up people. Like, beating up bad guys, you are a good guy. Alright, you see that? 15,000 in the via chest. That basically means that um, you upgrade your villa and you buy shops and stuff. And then every, I think, in-game hour, then you get money in the chest. But yeah, basically... Like I say, and he plays Ezio Auditori, plays uh, him growing up basically. So you start off with him as a kid, 
and him and his brother going around getting a couple scraps and stuff and then something happens in his life which makes him go along the uh, road of the assassin so I don't know if you remember but there was a live action Assassin's Creed I guess you'd call it movie movie slash miniseries say miniseries because it was in parts rather than just being all together and it was the story of Ezio's dad so it's quite a cool story I mean my favourite game of all time is Brotherhood so nothing's really going to beat that for me combat in this is okay just all you want to do basically is counter people easiest way to do it is if you have no weapons in your hands then you just disarm people like that and then kill them with their own swords so yeah it's not great it is a slow system because to kill people you're just going to be countering people if you're wondering why these guards are attacking me at the moment it's because in the top left I've got a high uh, wanted level that's because I'm wearing the auditory cape yeah with this game you obviously start off with well you don't start off but one of the first things you get is the um, oh man the combat is not that good in this game yeah, you start off with the hidden blades, and hidden blades are one of the best weapons. Because with the sword, if I counter with the sword, it doesn't always do an instant kill. You can do a counter and then um, just knock a tiny bit of health off. If you use the double blades all the time, then yeah, you just do one hit counters. Easiest way to play the game. And then this is a doctor. Use them to heal you. There you're healed. Apothecary supply fell on that. Don't need to. And then if I show you these guys over here, they're prostitutes or courtesans, as they're called in this game. Now you hire them, and they work the same way as the first game did with the monks. So when you're in a group, you're hidden. And if you see a load of guards, you can tell the um, courtesans to go off and distract the guards. Let's see if I can find any. Something else I noticed just running around, hardly any guards in this game. Like just in the streets, compared to Assassin's Creed 3, where there's guards absolutely everywhere. So, something else you have to do as well is buy art to upgrade your like home so let's have a look quick travel thing there you go fast travel so yeah you can fast travel between the cities or you can uh, ride your horse but when you ride your horse you've got to go through like um sort of like overworld map where it joins up to all the different places so where is he so yeah there he is Monteregioni that's your home place that's where your uncle Mario lives when you get introduced to him, he goes, It's a me, Mario. Just like someone else who's famous called Mario. Just think Ezio looks proper badass. So much better than Connor. He's just like a soppy, wet blanket. So, this is your hometown. These are the different shops you have art shop, doctors. Um, what's it called? Tailors. So in the tailor you buy pouches. So like these, knife belt, poison vials. And then you can also dye your clothes. To change what colour you want. In each city they have different clothes options. 
So at the moment I've just got the standard white. There you go, repair armor, repair it all. Armor repaired. So you can choose to do it individually. And what that basically means is where it says health and resistance, then if your armor goes down, your resistance goes down and your health goes down. So you well don't have as many uh, like health squares at the top. Ooh, just get to the home thing. Okay. Let me talk to this dude. Salute, Serezio. Now, with the Assassin's Creed games, I always think it's good if you put the subtitles on, because a lot of the time they speak in their native language, and it doesn't have any explanation of what they're saying, unless you know Italian. So, as you can see here, you buy the shops, and then when you upgrade them, it gives you bonuses. So, 5% off all purchases, 10% off purchases, blah, blah. Get the mines. So, when you buy these, then you get like percentage upgrades so I think if we talk to I think she's called Maria Claudia Salute Claudia you here to look at the book yes yeah then there you go you see how much you earn an hour and then renovations does it give you a total well, yeah, if you buy all the weapons, all the armor, all pieces of art, all the codexes, absolutely everything, the more you collect, ah, uh, there we go, shops, renovation, collections, equipment. Oh, this is every 20 minutes they do the uh, chest up, well, chest things. So yeah, the easiest way to get loads of money is to upgrade your via as soon as you can. Because then you just get in your upgrades every 20 minutes, you get money. Even when you're in missions, you get the upgrades as well. But once your chest is full, then you can't accept any more money. So I think that is pretty much it. He said the combat's okay but it's not great. In Brotherhood it's a lot better because you have counter kills where you can chain link the attacks. So before when I was fighting those three guards I had to attack them individually. But in Brotherhood if you kill one with a counter then you press X in a direction towards the next one and it kills that guy as well. Whereas yeah it's a I mean this was an absolutely huge update compared to the first game so it is great but with Brotherhood you've got all the extra stuff of actually having a Brotherhood where you can send off your little guys to do missions or to help you out when you're doing missions so like see those guys down there if I wanted my well if I wanted a Brotherhood member to kill them I'd just target them with left trigger like that and then press assassinate and they would just come in and assassinate them so that's missing in this one you need to get like thieves and courtesans and I can't remember who the other guys are called just warriors or something so fee thieves can run up on roofs and stuff and help you out courtesans can only go on the floor but they can uh, like hide you when you're huddling or you can send them to distract guards uh, I think the other one might be mercenaries actually, actually which just dudes with big swords so they can only run on the floor but they've got more offensive uh, capabilities but yeah I think that's about it so free on uh, Xbox Gold, Xbox Live if you've got a gold account from today but is it really worth it I mean I guess if you've not played it it might be worth it if you like the idea of the series. Don't for me this time scale I think is class. And there's a lot of TV shows and stuff on about it actually. Like uh, the TV show The Borgers. Which is about... Uh, well, not about the people in Assassin's Creed. But the people in Assassin's Creed, like the bad guys, are the Borgers. That you're trying to hunt down and kill. And then... Uh, <coughs> 
you've got there's a TV show about Da Vinci on at the moment. He's one of the main characters in this game. So if you're interested in this time period, it might be a good idea. But like I said, the combat is okay. It's really slow. But then, as it's an assassin's game, you could argue the fact that you're supposed to be assassinating people and finding different ways, apart from just running in and killing people. Now, with the easiness, every Assassin's Creed game that I've played, I haven't upgraded the armor until the end, because I just think it's too easy. But yeah, that's about it then, guys. So, is it worth a download? I guess it's a free game. I mean, there is DLC for it. I wouldn't advise downloading the DLC because it's just a couple extra missions which aren't that long. And I don't think you get any achievements for the DLC as well, so give that a miss. But out of this or Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I would play. I would pay to play Brotherhood instead of this. Because in Brotherhood you've got multiplayer as well, online multiplayer, which is a lot better than anything in this game. So, it's a pretty good game, but, nah, I don't know, I'm torn. Assassin's Creed is my favourite series of any games, so, give it a download, it's free, try it out, you might like it but there's not a lot to it and it's an easy game so that's pretty much it for now cheers then I just want to couldn't stay in love we just want to